Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to City of Newcastle. It's now series two, or season two, I should say. It's episode six, and I must say now, if you haven't watched the last two episodes, um, which were released in the double upload day a couple of days ago, then I highly recommend you watching that now, otherwise you're about to get some serious spoilers. So now that those people have gone to watch that episode, um, yeah, so last season it, it didn't go well, did it? It it was a relegation, it was a rock bottom, which uh, in my eyes is a success because we were predicted to finish rock bottom and by quite a lot. I think it was 500 to 1 us winning the title and the closest to us was about 250 to 1. So I think not finishing rock bottom was quite a good quite an achievement really and as you can see on the screen these are our released we've not got rid of too many players i will just switch it now to all transfers and you'll see that yeah a, one of our star players of last season has left us shaquille jones griffiths however his stats aren't very good apart from his mentals his mentals are good his physicals are quite good his technicals though aren't great he's gone to run con limits maybe he'll he'll do well i mean i can see on the screen now that he's played one game got a goal and an assist a 7.9 so that's a little bit frustrating but we can easily improve on him um, and as you can see we have made an attempt to do exactly that so um I mean, yeah, let's show you some of the new signings. So we're going to be quite quick with um, some of the less important ones. So Curtis Jones has come. Curtis Jones. That is not even. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go through some of the less important ones a bit quicker. So Curtis. J <laughs> okay, so we're going to go through some of the less important ones a bit quicker. Curtis Turner here. <laughs> is He's a rotation midfielder. He, he's. Passing's very good. It's his mentals and some of his physicals that I'm not too keen on. He's a good option off the bench, but he's not going to be a starter for us. Next up, 28-year-old Englishman Andrew May is going to be one of the many players that we get to play in our, our centre of defence. He's got some very good stats. His 11 tackling and marking is something that stands out. Uh, yeah, all-round pretty good player. Now, Adam Hall was a player that I actually went to sign... When we sold Jafet Matter, um, he was supposed to be Jafet's uh, replacement. And when I got the deal done, it told me he wasn't going to be joining until the summer. So he has joined us now. He's not amazing in comparison to our current squad. So, yeah, we probably could have done a lot better. We'll see what we can do with him. He's probably going to be a rotation. And I wouldn't be surprised to see him released within a few weeks or maybe months. Now, Josh Agbozo is a player that I've had my eyes on for a while. I wanted to sign him before he went to his last club, which was Sunderland RCA. I, I've been looking at him for a while. They pinched him, and I'll be honest with you, his first game went pretty well. One appearance, one goal, a player of the match in that game, 7.5. So, you know, we may have lost Shaquille Griffiths. Shaquille Griffiths? Shaquille... <laughs> Something Griffiths. I've already forgotten it. But... We've got Josh Agbozo, so we're not too bothered. Next up, another centre-back. Another pretty well-rounded one, apart from some... Yeah, not too sure about these mentals. But Oliver Kemp is going to be another one of those players that gets to play in our centre of defence. He's quick, which is the main reason why I've um, brought him in. He's been released from Scunthorpe, so... You know, when a player of that at that level gets released, you've got to give him a chance. Next up, Kean Hayes, 18-year-old Irishman, another midfielder slash defensive midfielder slash centre-back. We'll be playing around with his positions and seeing where he's best. At the moment, I'm thinking probably he's going to be best as a centre-back. And next up, another midfielder, Will McGuffey, is very much going to be a rotation midfielder. I'm starting to realise that we've probably got too many midfielders, as we did last season, but... Again, he was a player that got released uh, by Wigan, I think it was. And, you know, I had to give him a chance. Next up is a possession I really felt we needed. It was a left back. And, yeah, Dan McWilliams is our newest left back. Hopefully, he's going to be a long-standing left back. As you can see, in those key areas, there's only one that's not yellow. And that's anticipation. And I think we can just about deal with that as it's 
only seven rather than eight, which it would require to be to be a yellow. Um, yeah, I'm I'm thinking that he's going to be quite good for us. Next up, it's another centre back slash possibly right back. His dribbling's not great, so uh, being only one, I'm I'm not too keen to play him at. Uh, right back too much. Max Allen, 20 years old. Um, it looks like he was at Pontefract last season. Um, and I mean, they had an all right season. So when I noticed I could get him on a free, I thought, why not? Let's give him a chance. He's got 14 tackling. So again, at this level, when you see 14 tackling, you've got to grab it. Next up is another centre back with some really good mentals. Uh, I'm looking at the 20 determination, 13 leadership, 12 bravery. I mean, among others, 12 stamina in his physicals as well. Physicals are really good uh, at first glance. Um, Kaysom Shah is going to be, I can assure you, a starting centre back. I think he's in the Dream 11. I think. So he's going to be a really important player for us. And then finally, uh, Mackenzie Chapman is very much going to be a bit of ch a challenge for Greater X. Greater X is probably still the better goalkeeper based on attributes, not star rating. But obviously, as we know, we don't trust those. Um, but he's there to give a bit of bit of support for Greater X, possibly a bit of a challenge. And yeah, who knows? By the end of the season, maybe he'll be our first team goalkeeper. So, so far this season, I have only played one game and that was just purely to test the waters with how good our team was. We got a 2-0 win against Hadley. Uh, as we already know, Josh Agbozo managed to get a goal as well as Finley Clift continuing off his form from last season. Now, I'm sure some of you have noticed it. Yeah, let's have a look. So, as we already know, it's in the name. We are based in Newcastle. Now... You don't have to look too far into some of these teams to realise that we're in the wrong division. I'll, I'll, I'll just point out the obvious one. London. London, yeah. Every single team in our division is based in London. We're in a London-based league, um, is all that I can call it. Um, yeah, so I don't know what's happened. I've only played one home game, so I don't know how the travel is going to affect our finances. But um, yeah, we'll just have to. We'll see. It's it's an it's an error that's been made. I don't I don't know. I know I've seen it happen with creator clubs before when you do it in the editor. Um, I don't know how to fix it. Yeah. So we're going to go and get straight into the game. Um, we are away at uh, Leverstock Green, so. After the game, I'll have a look at the finances and see just how much we're paying for an away game. Because it's it's going to be interesting, that's all I can say. Uh, but this is the team that's going to face against Leverstock Green. We've got Greater X in goal. Alfieri's continuing at right back. Kaysom, Shah and Oliver Kemp are partnering at the back with Mick Williams at left back. Jake Bayram is our defensive midfielder for today. Our advanced playmaker and deep line playmaker is Josh Agbozo and Mellon. Uh, going further forward, we've got Albert Kamara. And then topping the team, we've got Finley Clift and, oh yeah, Gabolahan. I think I've, I think I've smashed that. So after a 2-0 win, I'm going to tell the boys that I want them to pick up exactly where they left, up, left off and tell them all individually that I have faith in them to go out there and do a job. So it is the opposition that's going to have the first chance of the game to get the ball into the box. But Gabolahan has managed to pick it up from a clearance from the defence. Mellon's on it now. And I'll be honest, OK, interesting ball forward. I'm feeling really optimistic about this season. Um, after just a 2-0 in the first game, I feel like this is something that we can really push on and be a real force. We are predicted, I haven't shown you, we are predicted to win the league uh, quite convincingly. So I'm hoping that we can do exactly that. We've strengthened our team really well. As we are going forward, Egbozo plays it out wide to Alfieri. Can we get a decent ball into the box? Wyatt manages to get a touch on it and deflect it away. But we've still got it. Gabolahan, decent shot on goal just over the bar. We're already threatening them. And another throw in for Lever... Oh, I've forgotten their name. Lever something green. Oh, yeah. It's not good. The greens is what I'll call them. Uh, ball over the top. Uh, Shah manages to get it away then. Gabolahan 
Keeping the ball quite nicely. I, I'm sure you've noticed we are playing on attacking. That is something that the uh, coaches have said that we should do. As Kamara gets ahead on the ball from a cross from McWilliams to make it 1-0. Clearly, attacking is not a problem because apparently we are just that much better than every single team in this division. I'm still just worried about finances, though. And McWilliams makes a good ball run even down the line and then puts a good ball into the box. Really dangerous area, and Kamara with a really good run to meet that and head it in. 1 0. And almost instantly from the goal, the Greens do have a chance. It was initially from a throw in, ball into the box, but Greater X manages to claim that. Not going to be doing any damage with that. As a ball over the top from Greater X to Kabolahan. How good would it have been to be for the first episode of season two to have an assist from Greater X? That would have been incredible. Okay, so now it's us with the throw in. Alfieri has it. Little one two with Agbozo. Gabolahan in the box, but he's headed away, I think, as far as McWilliams. And we've given it away. Ball forward, but Shah, fortunately, is there to meet it. Alfieri with a decent touch. And he's just running down the line. Can we get a ball in as good as McWilliams? Kamara, can he get his second? He can't. It is deflected and then cleared away. McWilliams on the ball now. It, it, I, I honestly thought he was going to get fouled there and we we're going to get a penalty, but he's not. We've got a corner, though, almost instantly. So much so that I've not stopped talking. It is only straight into the arms of the keeper, but he's cleared it straight back to us. Melon's on the ball now on the edge of the box with a bozo and Alfieri. Oh, it's an own goal. It's an own goal. I think he's hit it onto the post and it's just deflected off the keeper and straight back in. As we can see, a bozo playing it through to Alfieri and it does hit the post and then hits the goalkeeper and goes in. But we'll take it 2 0. Okay, so half time and it is 2 0. We've matched last time's. Result, I'm not going to tell them they can do better. I'm just going to tell them to keep it up because this level of performance is exactly what we need. And we are underway for the second half of this game. Tell you what, I've been thinking to myself, this, it's really strange to have this kind of result. I'm not used to it. I'm used to trying to snatch results away from teams, not <laughs> coming to an away game and winning convincingly. It's just... It's, yeah, feels a little bit wrong. Okay, so the Greens do have the ball. Um, and Agbozo intercepts it really well and passes it off to Clift. And Clift has taken on his men, uh, hits it straight out to defender, and it causes no problems whatsoever. Okay, so Gabolahan across to Alfieri. Into the box and it's cleared, but only as far as McWilliams. And McWilliams passes it along to Gabolahan and he just puts it wide. And we're seeing a highlight instantly afterwards with Clift and I tell you what we are looking really dangerous we've had 13 shots but only three on target I think we can see the problem there was another good ball towards Kamara and Kamara gets a good head to it but it is straight at the keeper and is this highlight going to continue it looks like it might you know Melon's on the ball now Kamara yeah I think we're going to have another chance here it's played over the top but the keeper gets it and he's really keen for his quick distributions and yeah, that's fair enough. Swales manages to get a goal back for the Greens. And yeah, I mean, he's been doing it all game and it's not been playing off. I think what we need to do is we probably need to go to our line. And when we're out of possession, just drop it back a little bit. So drop that down. Standard line of engagement just for these last parts of the game. It's not something we're going to keep. But I think when they're trying that so often, it's clearly worked once. It was their first shot on target, but it's worked. So we need to try and stop it from happening again. And Kemp is on the ball with a free kick. McWilliams is on it now. On the edge of the box to Bozo. I was wondering if he was going to take a strike on it there, but he didn't. And we're keeping the ball really nicely. Gabolahan from distance. It's a good save from the keeper, I believe. I think it hit the post as well. And we're getting another chance almost instantly. Greater X with it. Can we do a quick ball over the top like they do? We're not. Shah's played it out wide to Alfieri. And he's just running with the ball inside to Mellon, Gabolahan, and Clift. Clift strikes it. 
and it's deflected and it goes straight to them. But fortunately, nothing's going to come of it. Okay, White with the ball. I'm fortunate that he's he didn't go for a long ball. He just went for the short one. But the Greens are coming forward with it. Harrison on it now. Higginson. Good block from whoever that was. I think it might have been Kemp. And I think we're just going to quickly pause. We're trying to pause it. I can't control my mouse. We're going to go a bit more balanced. Because I feel like they're starting to get into the game. And I don't like that, uh, if I'm honest. We'll continue it there. And hopefully, by going balanced, we're going to see out the game. And with just a minute, less than a minute of added time to go... It's now or never for the Greens as they they go forward, but it only goes as far as Kemp, who deals with it quite nicely. Hopefully now we can just keep the ball, not give it away to cause any moments of nerve. Uh, Gbozo's on it now. It looks like with just 15 seconds to go, this is going to end the game. And we're going to have... A relatively comfortable 2-1 victory, which comfortable is not something I've been able to say at all last season. But this season, two games, two relatively comfortable wins. Let's go, boys. So, well done, lads. That was a good win for us. It absolutely was. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not used to this. I said it earlier. I'm really not. Um, and that does put us second in the league. Uh, Winslow United are the only team ahead of us uh, on goal difference. We just need to keep pushing now. That's all we need to do. Push, make first place ours, and we'll have no problems at all. As you probably already noticed, there's no playoffs. So we've got to win the title in order to get promoted, which is not ideal. But that's the situation we're in. Okay, so that is going to bring this episode to an end. I really hope you have enjoyed as I've already mentioned, we are second in the league with teams still to play. But next time, I haven't even looked at the schedule. It's probably not going to be too far away. Um, maybe end of September, start of October is where we'll meet next. And I've realised I haven't even talked about it. Let's go see what Alex is doing. So, so far, obviously, Alex didn't get promoted. I don't know if I shared that with you. He didn't. He got to the playoffs. He lost in the first round of the playoffs. So, he didn't He didn't get promoted. Um and he's still in the same division uh, with all those teams that we all know so well. Um, he's played two games, won one, lost one. I'm curious to see who he's lost to. Runcorn Linnets, who are actually running quite high. Um, although it's saying that they've not... I mean, I'm confused. Oh, they beat... No. Okay, so I don't know what happened there. Uh, City of Liverpool, after two games, they um, beat Trafford away from home and lost to Marine at home. So, I mean, Alex is having a, an average start, but it, it's only two games in, so we're not going to take too much from that. And now that will be the end of this video. So I hope you have enjoyed. Um, we're going for season two. We're going to get promoted. I'm, I'm telling you that now. So let's just go and do it. Um... But yeah, um, down in the description is, I don't mention it often, is my Twitter, my Twitch, and Alex's Twitter and Twitch, which is where you'll find both of us. Um, so, I mean, if you're ever losing uh, ideas of what to do, then maybe go and check, see if one of us live. And if not, then just drop us a follow anyway. It'd be massively appreciated. But I hope you have enjoyed. And until next time, I'll see you later.